I said, Marty, if you don't have anything down there, what's your gender? She said, she's made out of plastic. She identifies as Tatawin. <laughs> I'm so excited, guys. I'm very excited. My mom is here to see me perform tonight. She hasn't seen me perform in years. Isn't that great? Give her a round of applause. She's dead, but I can feel her presence in the room. Now, can you feel her, sir? Can you? She's sitting next to you. So you need to laugh because my dead mom is watching you. Hey guys, what's your name, bruh? Pima. 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 Nice to meet you, Pima. My name is Conrad. We have a lot of fun. This show is all about being happy. That's it. They say you gotta feel happy these days. That's what they say, don't you? You gotta feel happy. What's your name, sir? Wolfgang, nice to meet you. They say you've got to, ma'am, you they say you gotta feel happy. And then I went to Zimbabwe and met a bra called happy. <laughs> you gotta feel happy. I felt like a pervert. <laughs> anyway, are you guys ready to meet some puppets? <laughs> So yes, I keep my friends in a suitcase. I'm like Vladimir Putin. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, clapping and screaming like you just won the lottery. Please welcome my good friend, Mr. Chester Mussi. Guys, don't do edibles. Yeah, don't do edibles. They're putting weed in food. Putting weed in. Weed is going in food. The weed makes you want food. So it's inside the thing that makes you want. You eat the weed, then you get high. And the only food you have has weed in it. So you eat that, then you get higher, then you eat that, then you get higher, then you eat that, then you get higher, then you eat that. 20 years later, you wake up and you're talking to a tatat on a stage in Johannesburg. <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> Who's that guy? His name is Pima. Pima. Sounds like a knockoff tumor. <laughs> if I bought a tumor on the side of the road, it would be you. <laughs> Don't piss him off. I don't care. He's going to hit you in the face. <laughs> Guys, it's so insane. I'm so famous. I'm so famous. I, they introduced me to the president. They look like Mr. President. Here is a tatat. Actually, what makes that funny is a tatat met another tatat. <laughs> I was literally like, dude, the hand in your ass is bigger than the hand in my ass. This guy's such a weirdo. No, I'm not. He's, he's such a weirdo. Him and his wife go to the park and touch other people's dogs. <laughs> Our dog died. Dude, really? You couldn't do that with kids. You couldn't go to the park and just walk up to toddlers and be like... <laughs> <laughs> Is it yours? <laughs> <laughs> Who used to have one just like him? <laughs> Is it a rescue? <laughs> Oh, you got in from a breeder. <laughs> oh, you are the breeder. <laughs> if you have another one, can you give us a call? <laughs> you know, Stu, don't get me cancelled. Come on, dude. You know, really got cancelled is smokers. It's so bad if you got a smoker these days. They literally go, oh, sorry. It's a disgusting habit. I'm trying to get up. <laughs> in fact, if someone smokes in your face, what you got to do is this. Fight back. Reach down. No, I hate this. Just do it. Just reach in there. Just really get in there. <laughs> right. Just really get in there. Just really get in there until it gets really awkward and everyone is staring at you. You go, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then you go, oh, sorry, it's a disgusting habit. <laughs> I, I'm trying to get up. <laughs> It's like those titulu zait. Oh, come on. Yeah, this is titulu zait. Hey, I saw a guy sucking and sucking and sucking. No smokers coming out. It took this asshole three minutes to realize he was sucking on a memory stick. <laughs> <laughs> 
At least smokers look cool. They're like, hey, can I borrow your lighter? People who vape, they're like, hey, can I borrow your charger? They <laughs> say vaping is better for you. You don't know that. I guarantee in 20 years' time, your doctor's going to call you in and say, I've got good news and I've got bad news. The bad news is you've got cancer. <laughs> the good news is, is bubble gum flavor. <laughs> You know, really should have got cancelled is, is golfers. It's not a sport, is it golf? Is it? No, it's not. They literally get driven from hole to hole in a little car like they're sex tourists in Bangkok. <laughs> <laughs> there could be a golfer here that you're pissing off. I'm not scared. They're golfers. They're going to take five shots to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> and they immediately assume if you don't play it at a professional level automatically, you have what they call a handicap. That's the offensive word they use. What's your handicap? Oh, me, I'm an eight. No, dude, I see you in the shower. You are a two. <laughs> dude, do you have a girlfriend or something? Yeah, no, I'm dating a Barbie doll. I'm not joking, Wolfgang. I'm dating a Barbie doll. It's crazy because Barbie's got nothing down there. <laughs> so when we had sexy time, she, you know, what? She makes me take her leg off. <laughs> I know what, you know, sock it. <laughs> Stop it, that's what I said to Barbie. <laughs> I said, Barbie, if you don't have anything down there, what's your gender? She said she's made out of plastic. She identifies as Tatawe. <laughs> <laughs> and now there's a black mermaid, isn't that great? I know the racists are freaking out that there's a black mermaid. I don't know why. Are they scared she's going to take work away from the great whites? <laughs> I'm just glad mermaids don't anything down there either. Why? Because if they did, you'd have to call it an octopus. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, see, look at him. Don't see. What? He's, he's got anxiety. I do have, have anxiety. Social anxiety. Does anyone else here have social anxiety? No, don't raise your hand. You'll just freak yourselves out. <laughs> You can always tell he's got social anxiety, can't you? They're the ones standing in the corner at the party, freaking out that they don't know what to say. Then they freak out that they look like they're freaking out that they don't know what to say. Meanwhile, their face is doing this. <laughs> <laughs> well, they give you weird advice if you've got anxiety. They say you've got to do yoga. Oh, yeah, yoga. How's that relaxing? You're literally sticking your head in your own ass. <laughs> You know, we're looking for inner peace. Yeah, now you're doing it literally. <laughs> inner peace. Now, I, I, I got bullied as ki a kid, you know. No, you got bullied during before the internet. Imagine being bullied on social media. Every time you say anything, everyone thinks they're better than you. Oh, I got a new cell phone. I got two new cell phones. Oh, I got a new bicycle. I got two new bicycles. Oh, I just finished high school. I finished it twice. <laughs> Because he used to, he went to an old boys' school. So when he was 12, he, he spoke to girls like a cell phone at their reception. I you the 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 and then he went on anxiety medication. Don't do anxiety medication. It has one main side effect, anxiety medication. What does it do? It does this to your ding dong, not that. <laughs> does anyone here wear Crocs? They have the same side effect. <laughs> Crocs are like a form of contraception, right? If you're wearing Crocs, no one will screw you. <laughs> It's like you're wearing tatawe on your feet. I'm wearing Crocs now. Oh, shit, I can feel it. <laughs> can you change the topic? Has anyone here ever had erectile dysfunction? No, but... They're here. They just can't get their hands up. <laughs> You've got to go, no, help, help, Tina, Tina, Tina. You went too far. You stuck your hand in my ass. 
I'm going to tell jokes without you. You're going to stick your hand in your own ass. <laughs> I hope your suitcase goes missing again. Take it back. Just the suitcase went missing a few years ago. Yeah, and that's what was funny is uh, Air France lost him, and his name's Chester Missing, and the newspapers all said, ah, Chester Missing is missing. <laughs> See, I know that he laughed at your joke. <laughs> imagine telling your parents that you're going to do this for a living. Can you imagine that? Like, Mom, Dad, I'm a ventriloquist. And they're like, we always knew. <laughs> <laughs> We're just glad you finally came out of the suitcase. <laughs> And, and when I started, I couldn't get puppets, right? You had to make puppets out of weird stuff you could find. So I got two feather dusters, and uh, that is a car key. Well, in the world, it's a coat hanger, but in Johannesburg, this is a car key. <laughs> and, uh, I got a, and I got an old shoe, and I put it all together. It was really crazy, was there weren't even gigs back in the day. There weren't places to do comedy in South Africa. So I did shows at my dad's birthday, roasting him in front of his friends, you know. It was a fun thing. And what was wild was my mom used to write the jokes. <laughs> they were divorced. <laughs> yeah. She roasted her ex via her kids' puppets. <laughs> That's some Black Mirror-level family genius. <laughs> like, I puppets. I was my mother's puppet. And uh, this, this here is the first puppet I ever made. I'm sure you're going to love him. His name is Hilton. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, clap you lazy bastards, hello, 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 oh, 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 look at it, oh, hello, hello darling, oh, hello lady, what, what's your name lady, what's your name, hello Jeanette, nice to meet you, Thank you for coming. Who's he? That's my friend Wolfgang. Wolfgang. Oh. What do you do for a living, Wolfgang? He's, oh, self-employed. <laughs> He's a drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it doesn't work out, can I suggest getting some puppets? <laughs> what do you self-employ at, Wolfgang? Oh, you're an IT guy. Wow, okay, well, uh, I'm turning, you're turning me on. <laughs> That's a joke, darling. <laughs> uh, and what's this lovely lady with you, Wolfgang? Hello, ma'am, what is your name? Jeanette. Jeanette, always let your partner know you love them, darlings. Always let them know you love them. Turn to them and say, darling, you are my bladder in section. <laughs> Why would you say that? You're the reason I get up in the morning. <laughs> you need to laugh, darlings. You need to laugh. If you don't laugh, your laugh bottles up inside. And it comes out two days later as a thought. <laughs> and everyone around you goes, something smells funny. <laughs> Are there any wine drinkers here tonight? I'm sure there are. All the wine drinkers, let me hear you. Oh, I love wine drinkers. I love wine drinkers. Wine drinkers are very creative. They are. Yes, they don't think out of the box. They drink out of the... <laughs> <laughs> don't judge. Some of you wouldn't exist if it weren't for boxed wine. <laughs> If you're child number two, I'm talking about you. <laughs> Who's the father? A dry white. <laughs> Just don't drink and drive. Yes, don't drink and drive. Except the vodka drinkers. They don't drink and drive because they can't find the car. <laughs> That's why it's called vodka. <laughs> and if you do drink and drive, then the police will start and ask you stupid questions like, have you been drinking, sir? It's 3 a.m. on a Sunday. What other reason is there to drive around, you asshole? <laughs> and they always ask, where are you going? And there's only one answer to that question. What is it? I'm on my way to church. <laughs> They're the only ones serving alcohol first thing on a Sunday. 
That's why I love the Catholics. They know how to market religion. They serve wine and snacks. <laughs> We had a drunk heckler at our last show. We did. We had a drunk heckler who stood at the back going, Get off stage, you talentless fool. Your mother never loved you. He was like, Shut up, Dad. The show only just started. <laughs> la, 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 but my voice, my voice, ah, ah. I, I sound like a molested pony. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> a what? A molested pony? What? My, I'm feeling a little hoarse. Right, we're going to start the show. The show started. A star is here. No, we're all stars. No, no, darling. You're a planet, really. Uranus. <laughs> Well, technically, you're my anus. <laughs> right, we're going to start. I, I, I need you guys to scream. Jeanette, you're in charge of this lot over here. I need you to scream like a porn star trying to get a pay rise. I want to, ooh, on three. One, two, three. Oh, you're dirty. I love it. <laughs> and who's this young man? The Pima, a Pima, I want you to lead the slot. I want you to screen like a teenager seeing her first pair of nunus. <laughs> what a nunus, whatever it means to him. <laughs> <laughs> I need all of you to go, oh, on three. One, two, three. <laughs> Clearly, none of you have ever seen nunus. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, the star of the show, me! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Hey, turn it off! Turn it off! What are you doing? I, I don't... I don't dance. Why aren't you dancing? I just don't, it's something I don't do. No, darling, dancing is easy. It is, yes, just the tender at political party. <laughs> what is, what does that mean? Let the asshole lead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could have made an effort. I look good. No, no, you look like you lost all your money on Bitcoin. <laughs> hey, it's not our money, it's no money. <laughs> My goodness, darling, but where, but where is your other shoe? <laughs> the only thing worse than wearing two Crocs is wearing one Croc. <laughs> I used it to make your face. Ooh. Oh, my God. But what have you done? What I am an ostrich. My face is a croc. <laughs> I'm a cross stretch. <laughs> Darlings, you've all been cat faced. What's that cat faced? It's like cat fishing, but with your face. So where you see someone with a sexy body and you're like, Aah. and then you see their face, and you're like, <laughs> So, so, so tell us, darling, what are your pronouns? Oh, my pronouns are he, him. No, no, you're a comedian. It's he, he. <laughs> what, are, what are Father Christmas pronouns? I don't know. Ho, ho. <laughs> hey, you know what they say about a man with a big beard, hey? You know what they say about a man with a big beard? What, he's got a small, you know. <laughs> what, a chin. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, 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 yeah, ladies, ladies. If a man sends you a picture uninvited on the internet of this, you know, of this nunu, of this nunu, don't panic, fight back, reply, my goodness, that is a microaggression. <laughs> He'll never do it again. <laughs> Imagine watching this show stoned. My goodness, the cleaning equipment is talking to us. <laughs> you gotta go, what are you doing? No, no, darling. What are you doing? No, darling, 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 cover your cover your elbow. What have you done? What's wrong? What have you done? What's wrong? They all saw my nunu. <laughs> Look.
Ladies and gentlemen, clapping and screaming, please welcome my high school teacher, Mr. Dixon. Settle. Settle, class, settle. Settle. And I'm a teacher, so when I say settle, I mean calm down. Not colonize another country. <laughs> Are you doing okay, Mr. Dixon? Oh, yes, it's great. My wife and I, we have fun, eh? Oh, that's great. Yes, no, we have fun. She told me, Clive, I want excitement and road nets. I said, honey, we're 83. I don't think our medical insurance will cover that. <laughs> She said, no, darling, I want to feel wanted. So what I did is I phoned the police. <laughs> and I told them she had stolen a car. <laughs> Her own car. <laughs> she said, why did you do that? I said, well, now you're wanted. <laughs> she, she said, but I'm on the run. I said, aha, excitement. <laughs> she said, I might end up in jail. I said, ah. Romance. <laughs> How did she take it? Oh, very well. She gave me a gift voucher. Oh, really? Yeah. For bungee jumping. <laughs> yeah. Bluetooth bungee jumping. Eh? I didn't know. Bluetooth. Yeah. Well, it's cordless. <laughs> I'll let you know how it works out. <laughs> Who's that young man? That's my friend Wolfgang. Nice to have someone my age in the room. <laughs> Hello, Wolfgang, hey. My wife and I keep it alive in the bedroom, Wolfgang. We have a lot of fun, hey. Yeah, I, I sent her one of those pictures that the young people sent. Have you heard about the stuff where you send a picture of your, you know? Who's that young lady, Jeanette? Have you heard about this, Jeanette? They send a picture of their, you know? Have they ever got one? <laughs> it's terrifying, isn't it? They sent a picture so I, of that Boris Johnson, if you're not following. They take a, oh, I don't call mine that. What do you call yours? Joe Biden. <laughs> Why do you call it that? He's always falling asleep. <laughs> so did you take one of those pictures? Yeah, I tried. I didn't know how to do a selfie, so I thought I'd get someone else to take the photo. <laughs> no, it didn't work out at all. It didn't work out. What happened? Oh, I can't say. No, what happened? All I can say is I can never, ever, ever, ever go back to the Apple store. <laughs> Because you youngsters think us oldies don't do it. I know that's what you think, Jeanette. You think older people don't do it. We do. It's just not the same as when you're young. Really? Yeah. When you're young, sexy time is like, like two gazelles frolicking in the forest. <laughs> when you're our age, it's like washing a design. <laughs> you sit there wondering, how did that end up in there? <laughs> Because a lot of the kids I teach at school are traumatized because they've walked in on their parents doing adult stuff. Really? Yo, yeah, no, so I've got advice. I've got advice for them, okay? It's this, right? This is what you do. Don't panic. Don't freak out. Lock eyes at them. <laughs> like a pterodactyl. <laughs> and then you say exactly these words. I'm not angry. <laughs> I'm just disappointed. <laughs> They'll never have sex again. <laughs> and if that doesn't work, then you say, this is hurting me more than it's hurting you. <laughs> Are you still teaching? Yeah, of course I'm teaching. Are there any other teachers in the house tonight? Teachers, Linnea? There they are, they're sitting at the neck because they don't have money for the front seats. <laughs> it's difficult being a teacher, I'm not going to lie, hey? The kids say strange things. They say, sir, the dog ate my homework. And I always say, bring it in anyway. <laughs> I'm confident the quality didn't change. <laughs> Even after going through the dock. <laughs> Then they say, sir, or, or my mark the I say, well, what usually comes out your dog? <laughs> Probably that. 
it must be difficult getting kids to understand. Oh no, it's hard. It's hard. That's what I always say. I always say, kids, there's no such thing as a stupid question. That's how you find them. <laughs> Who? The stupid kids. <laughs> there's always one. <laughs> hey Wolfgang, there's always one. They're the kid who doesn't understand. Because in, in English, a theory is, the, is a lesson, isn't it? What theory is it? It's also an American word for a full stop. It's also what a young lady says when she's going through menstruation. You can be in a theory, making a theory on your theory. <laughs> the other asked the rich kid, what's four times four? They'll answer Land Rover. <laughs> Oh, bloody hell. Okay, not all of them got that joke. <laughs> Who's that young man? That's Pima. Pima, are, are you honest? This is a comedy show. <laughs> Nothing, eh? <laughs> <laughs> he thinks it's Netflix. <laughs> And that young lady over there, she didn't get it. That young man, hello, sir, what's your name? Now they're looking around like politicians looking for something. <laughs> and the guy behind Pina, what's your name, sir? Nick. <sighs> okay, Nick. <laughs> yeah, okay, do you understand? Four times four. Land Rover. Oh, they got it over there. <laughs> The, the naughtiest kids, the naughtiest kids are always the ones who wear red undertats. Never, ever, ever trust a kid wearing red undertats. Jeanette, did you meet a man and he's wearing red undertats? No, just send him the white. He's hiding his Boris Johnson behind a red flag. <laughs> the naughtiest kids always pass notes around while you're writing on the, you know, on the board, on the, you know, I don't know how to say it these days. What? You know, the board, the... The, the board of color, I don't know how you, What do you... The colonized board. The, the board... Do you understand what I'm... The blackboard. Oh, no, don't say it! <laughs> no, you can say blackboard. Oh, I didn't know. And now it's a whiteboard. It's going in the wrong direction. <laughs> That's when they toss notes the naughty kids. They write, Mr. Dixon's nose looks like a penis. <laughs> I know, it's offensive, eh? Hey? Because it's true. <laughs> look here, look. <laughs> Can you see? I look at the bloody chicken. <laughs> ah, ah, ah! Watch, it does tricks. What does that remind you of? I don't know. That's, that, that's you on anxiety medication. Okay. <laughs> hey, I got in there, hey? I got in. I got in. It must be stressful being a teacher. No, 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 we have fun. We have fun because we tell jokes in the teacher's room. Ask those teachers at the deck. Fun. Uh, we tell rude jokes. Can you tell us one? It's rude. No, just uh, they'll be fine. Okay, it's a very rude joke, okay? <laughs> so don't tell your minister or priest, okay? Here's the joke. You can tell how the parents made the kid mm. by the kid's personality. Well, yo. No, I'm not joking. If they love animals, Doggy style. <laughs> I told you it was rude. If the kid's very religious. Missionary. <laughs> and if the kid talks a lot of crap. N never mind that, no. No, that's going too far. I'm sorry, that's across the line. Some of you laughed a bit too soon on that, though. 
you clearly knew what was going on. <laughs> now, I'm not going to lie. Not all of you have understood all the jokes, okay? Some of you aren't keeping up. I'm, I'm not going to lie. And, and, and I, I'm afraid if you don't get the jokes, the exams are almost here, so we're going to stay back after the show if you don't. I'm sorry, Nick. That's just how it's going to be. I know you've got to get back to your hostel, but... <laughs> Technically, they're all sleeping, so <laughs> what do you actually do? <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to tell you one last joke, and we're going to see how it goes, okay? Here's the... How do accountants say goodbye? Calculator. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, Nick got that joke. Who's that? That's Pima. Tina laughed. Jeanette, nothing, eh? <laughs> Calculator. It's not a complicated joke, Jeanette. It's like, see you later with a calculator. What do you do for a living, Jeanette? Now you're being heckled by a guy over there who also didn't get the joke. <laughs> What's your name? Craig. Craig, well, you didn't laugh at all. I've been watching you the whole show. You look like a screensaver. <laughs> Craig, what, what do you do for a living? I thought from heckle ladies. <laughs> you what? Oh, you work at a courier company. Okay. You just were trying to get the message there faster. <laughs> Jeanette, now let's get to this, okay? What do you do for a living? Is that a metaphor for a hostel? <laughs> Nick, do you know Jeanette? Because if you do, run. <laughs> now, I'm sorry, class. You know, listen. Wolfgang, calculator. Nothing, eh? I think mean, Tina got the joke. He doesn't look that clever. <laughs> Look, Nick, you know when you see on a shampoo bottle and it says, do not drink, and you wonder, who is that spectacularly stupid? <laughs> the courier guy. <laughs> I'm not angry, okay? I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please, clapping and screaming, welcome back one more time, my good friend, Mr. Chester Massey! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We went all over South Africa building the show. Yes, we did. We went to a place called Nakanda. <laughs> There's nothing in Nakanda, just donkeys and tartals. <laughs> I saw a donkey in a tartal. <laughs> I was like, holy crap, it's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> the world is changing. The world is changing. China's population just stopped growing, really. Yeah, and India's population just passed China's. There's going to be less cell phones, but more call centers. <laughs> oh, you see, he's scared. He's scared because if I say something racist, he gets cancelled. <laughs> and if you get cancelled, you know what that makes me? What? Speechless. <laughs> 
Just stop talking about race. Oh, come on. Imagine Hitler did ventriloquism. No, don't. don't. We all know what Hitler would call his puppet. What would Hitler call his puppet? Kanye West. <laughs> You know, I've got anxiety, okay? No, you're not, anxi you're not anxious, you're just entitled. You know you went to a private school, and I can feel it in the ass. What? Generational wealth. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever asked a really poor person why they're anxious? They're like, I'm anxious because they don't have food or shelter or employment. Ask a rich European why they're anxious. They're like, I'm so anxious because... Okay, I'm just anxious. <laughs> it's like these people who are gluten intolerant. Hey, it's the gluten, it's the gluten. How easy is your life if you can get taken down by toast? <laughs> it could be someone who's gluten intolerant. Yeah, I'm not scared. I can just eat them with a cupcake. <laughs> It's like those lactose intolerant assholes. It's the lactose. It's the lactose I'm dying. They're milking it, aren't they? <laughs> I'm dying. I'm dying. What's killing you, Hagen dazs <laughs> Next time you're anxious, dude, next time you're anxious, just look in the mirror, just look in the mirror and go, it's a disgusting habit. <laughs> I'm trying to get out. <laughs> Because let's be honest, we're all hypocrites, aren't we? We'll literally step over a homeless guy starving in the street. They let one billionaire get in a Coke can and go looking for the Titanic, and the entire world shits itself. <laughs> oh no, bro. Oh no, the billionaire got into trouble doing something stupid. Oh no, if only there was a two-hour movie called Titanic. To warn them how dangerous the ocean is. Oh no! No, it's a tragedy. Yeah, it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. Yeah, it's a tragedy. Yeah, it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. No, it is a tragedy. Yeah, it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. No, really, it's a tragedy. Yeah, it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. Such a tragedy. The billionaires were idiots. It's a tragedy. It's a yes. It's a tragedy. It is a tragedy. All I'm saying is, can Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg go next? <laughs> You get me into a lot of trouble. Yeah, we went to Scotland to do our show on race. But a whole show on racism. Went to Scotland. They had no idea what we were saying. Not a clue. One guy came to us after the show and said, I love the show. I love the show. Just leave out the apartheid stuff. <laughs> yeah, the whole show is on apartheid. <laughs> it's like watching The Lion King go, it's a fantastic movie. <laughs> there are just too many lions. <laughs> We didn't know how Scotland was. We didn't know there are no racists in Scotland. No, there aren't. No, they, are, they don't have enough black people to be racist. <laughs> being a racist in Scotland is like being a pedophile in an old age home. <laughs> There's nothing to work with. <laughs> He's 73. Technically, you're not a pedophile. <laughs> If anything, it's community service. <laughs> there used to be black people in Scotland. Yeah, 60,000 years ago, black people left Africa. They moved to Scotland. And the weather was so shit, they turned white. <laughs> Think of the money Michael Jackson could have saved. <laughs> you got to go, no, help, help. Wolfgang! We have such a special ending to the show that it has been such a long time coming. Erica uh, has been so great. We've been talking to each other for a while about our friend uh, Wolfgang here. And it, it, it's, it's your mom. Your first, it's your mom. She said, my son is amazing. He has this amazing story. And we had to really like, work hard to set up a front row. We had to move everyone sideways to get him here. Because apparently he has something he wants to share with the audience tonight, which I wasn't aware of. So please give my friend Wolfgang a big round of applause. He comes up on stage. Come, Wolf. My IT friend, come stand on this side. Now, now your mom, now your mom Erica, emailed me and she told me about your amazing story and said you want to say something to me. And she sent me all the stuff. Erica, just correct me as I go here, okay? Please. Um, she couriered all the stuff. We found a courier guy. Courier <laughs> guy. 
We're to pay him with a seat. <laughs> and uh, so, Erica, this goes on Wolfgang's head. Is that correct? Yeah? Great. Okay. We'll put it on his head. There we go. Uh, and, and you said you, he must turn his back to the audience for this. Okay. So just, and put your glasses in your pocket if you don't mind. So it goes on his head. Right. So let's do that. Right. I've never done this before. We'll see how it goes. There we go. Oh, great. That's great. Now, Erica, I strapped this up at the back, hey? Great. Okay. Whatever happens in your family is what happens in your family. That's great. <laughs> Strap that up nice and tight. There we go. Look good, my friend. This goes on his shoulders. Is that correct, Erica? Great. That's excellent. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, clapping and screaming, please welcome my friend Wolfgang. He is. That's great. You doing okay? Ah! Wolfgang. Wolfgang. Wolfgang, ah! <laughs> thanks. Ah! Are you okay coming up here? Hell yeah! <laughs> you can sit down if you want. No! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Say hello to the audience, Wolfgang. What's up, bitches? <laughs> Wolfgang. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready! What are those? Those are my claws! Oh, you put your hands in there. Yes, I do. Okay, you put your hands in your claws. Yes, I am! It's taking a while. My mother usually does it for me. <laughs> put your hands in your claws. Ah! Why is it taking so long? I'm self-employed! <laughs> Let me help you, okay? I think the one hand goes in there. Oh! I'm gonna do the other side on my own. <laughs> Look at that, mommy. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> For what? Oh! So what do you wanna say? Conrad, this is an intervention. <laughs> Seriously, oh! For what? Say Anthony. What must I say? I, I, am, am, a, a, pussy. <laughs> cat, pussy cat. Oh! What are we doing? Oh, you need to learn how to dance. I don't dance. No, we're gonna do it. Okay. Do you know how to dance? Hell yeah. <laughs> You're shaking your head. Ignore my body language. <laughs> uh, what do you dance? Like this. <laughs> what was that with your hands? Like, like that? What? Okay. You gotta shake your ass. I'm sorry, I'm not that. No, like this. With your hands. Yeah. And my ass. And your ass. What am I doing in that? Do this with the ass. Okay, sideways. Yeah, sideways. Do you do this? While I'm doing IT. <laughs> you fix the computer while you're doing that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, no. No, no, Conrad. What? The shirt needs to go. My shirt needs to go. Oh. <laughs> 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 Mom, you're in for a show. <laughs> no, I'm not taking the shirt off. It's Joe Big. That's how he danced. No, no. Take it off. 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 Guys, hang on. Okay. okay. Oh, ah. yeah, you, I told you I got teased as a kid. No. <laughs> My goodness, you're a tail. <laughs> You look like you're made out of tofu. <laughs> oh. uh, your, your, your nipples look like a sheet with eyes. <laughs> okay, so we gotta dance. Okay, ah, who's your kitty? Okay, <laughs> okay let's go. That pants need to go. No, no, no. <laughs> Yes, they do. No, I'm not saying they need to go. I told you I'm anxious about this. They want you to take a pants off. No, they don't. Yes, they do. They're going to tell people. They're going to tell you. Yes, take it off. 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 Oh, okay, okay, guys. Just uh, They are horny. <laughs> I wonder why they're horny. They work for a career company. Yeah. 
Right. There's a strip club for lions. <laughs> Have you done this before? Oh. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> There's a, there's a strip club for lions. What's a strip club for lions called? Cheetahs. <laughs> <laughs> what now? Hit us, DJ. Not to music. Hit us. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Please keep it going for Wolfgang, ladies and gentlemen. It was absolutely brilliant. It's absolutely wonderful, my friend. Thanks, Thanks so very much, much brother. Please keep it going for him as he goes back to his seat. Thank you very much. You guys have been absolutely wonderful. Hang on a second. <laughs> Mr. Dixon, the show is over. No, it's not good enough. <laughs> Mr. Dixon, they need to go. The exams are almost here. I'm sorry, guys. Please, can you just stay in your seats a little bit longer? We just, this won't take long. I'm sorry about this. They've got to go home to their kids. No, 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 no. Mr. Dixon, I just, Mr. Dixon, no, it's not good enough. It's not, not good enough. Later. <laughs> it's not that hard to understand. It's like, see you later. But nothing, eh? You know, I'm not going to lie. I get the sense that some of you thought you were going to an entirely different show. <laughs> Jeanette, I don't want to say it's you. <laughs> but it's you. <laughs> and it's okay. Because you might only get the joke next week when you're working in the hotel. <laughs> slash hostel. <laughs> Waiting for a courier delivery. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll suddenly go, oh, I get it. I understand the joke. Four times four. Land Rover. <laughs> Conrad, where are you both? What well, life orientation is only next week. <laughs> you look like a stripper for a for a, a, a bachelorette party with a very, 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 very low budget. <laughs> <gasps> My goodness, do you guys see what I'm saying? What? Red under <laughs> It looks like you stole one of my shirts. <laughs> and the worst red undertents I've ever seen, it looks like your Boris Johnson wants to do a tata show. <laughs> no, class, class, I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> You guys have been absolutely wonderful. Thank you for watching. My name is Conrad Koch.